What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Here we have got the Galaxy S23 Ultra and on the left hand side we have got the Galaxy S24 Ultra and in today's video we are going to talk about those features on One UI 7 which were not mentioned in the change log. At least some of it were not mentioned in the change log and I think you guys should know these hidden features. Before we dive in, if you are new on the channel be sure to subscribe, hit that like button if you find this video informative and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. The link is in the description. Now let's go ahead. The first feature which is not talked about on One UI 7 is the app archiving which is now available on the Galaxy S23 series as well as the S24 series. It's of course there on the One UI 7 stable on the S25 series as well. So let me go ahead and show you what exactly this feature is all about. Now let's say I press and hold on a specific application and tap on i icon and here you can see we have got this icon which says archive. Now what is this app archive all about? Let me briefly tell you this. This is a system level app archiving feature that allows users to free up the storage space without completely uninstalling the application. It essentially removes parts of an application's APK reducing its storage space while preserving the user data which means our login information, settings and other application data are retained when you archive an application at the same time it saves some memory by removing parts of that APK. That is what it does. Now let me show you how this works. Let me tap on archive. You can see the application is archived. You can see the icon as well here. Now this icon is blurred out and on that you have got a download option by tapping on which you'll be able to restore this application. Now this has definitely saved some memory on the phone. This feature is going to be very useful when you have many applications which you don't even use. At the same time you do not want to uninstall them, you want to have them on the phone. Now whenever you want to restore it, just tap on this icon. It says restore Facebook from Google Play Store. I tap on restore and it takes just a couple of seconds to restore the data from this application. The app is already there on the phone. It is only restoring some of the important data which is required for this app to run. Here you go, the app is restored. When I open this application, the login information is still there on the app. I have already logged in, I have not logged out of this application. That is the biggest advantage of app archiving feature. And this is available on both the Galaxy S23 series and the S24 series. Now let's move on to the next feature that is the best face and best face is a pretty cool feature which is available on both the Galaxy S23 series and the S24 series. And this is available on the camera application. Let me show you that on Samsung Galaxy S24 series. I'll open the camera application and I'll just take a selfie here. Now what I'll do is I will open the selfie image and I'll tap on edit icon here. Now as you can see it's saying choose a new expression with best face. Now I have to tap on this particular icon here and you get this all new option called best face. Let me tap on this. Now here we go, we have got different options here. I can select a specific face depending on my requirement. Now this is going to be very useful when you're taking a group photo or something. If somebody has closed their eyes or if somebody has turned away from the camera, you can replace that face with the options that you get at the bottom. I can tap on view more here to check out more options, you can see it starts from right here. I've got almost about five, six options. I can replace it with different expressions that I have. <laughs> Unfortunately on this image, I don't have any specific expression, but on the group photo, it is gonna be very useful. And the condition here is for this feature to work, you need to make sure you have turned on the uh, live or motion photo here. Let me show you that. Let's, uh, yeah, this is the selfie camera. You can see this is the icon. When you tap on this, motion photo is on. If you tap on that again, motion photo is off. Now motion photo definitely takes uh, an additional amount of memory on the phone. So if you do not want to use this feature, you can keep it turned off. Whenever you want to use this best face feature, you can turn on motion photo option right here. So that is a condition that is a prerequisite. Only when you have turned this on, you will get that best face feature. And that's also available on the S23 series. Let me show you that. Let me take a selfie here again. Now let me open the image. As you can see, I have already turned on the uh, motion photo here. Let me open this image and I will tap on edit. I got this option, choose a new expression with best face. I'll tap on this and here we go. We have got best face option. I think this should be a better example. Let me tap on view more. You see, I can see the expression right here. I can replace it with anything that I want. That's how it works. Now let me close this and let's move to the next feature, which is kind of hidden not really mentioned in the change log when we got the latest beta, the beta 2 on the S23 series and the beta 6 on the S24 series. And on the stable version, we are anyways going to get it. That is the all new advanced drawing assist. Now let me open drawing assist here. 
and here we go this is the brand new advanced drawing assist option which has got a brand new layout here and now we can describe the image by text input or use an image from the gallery to further edit it or you can draw an image by selecting this draw icon right here and we've got an additional option here as well you've got watercolor illustration pop art sketch 3d cartoon and oil paint and when you tap on this three dot button we have got this transparency option now here is a small issue with transparency now earlier we had a different layout it was covering the entire page and we could uh, change the transparency and draw the image with another image in the background let me tell you what i'm talking about let me open the gallery now let's say for example i'll take this image itself and i will activate the uh, drawing assist and now i'll increase the transparency here now you can see the image is there in the background and i can draw only a portion of the image within this square that you see here but earlier in the previous version we could draw on the entire image because the entire layout was completely empty and we could make it transparent and draw right on the image which is in the background but now we can't we will have to draw within this uh, square and we can't draw on this image right here so that is a drawback i feel with this new layout but anyways you guys let me know what you think about this the next feature is natural language search within the settings and that is available only on the galaxy s24 series if i go to the settings here and tap on search you can see this all new option right here with the mic and if i do the same thing on the settings on the s23 series we do not get that here now here we have to search for the settings specifically but here we can uh, input a context and uh, the ai is going to search for that specific setting for example if i want to search something related to font i can just say i want to increase the font size and here we go we have got the uh, options here and here if i say the same thing i want to increase the font size it is not showing up here so that's a bummer we still do not have this feature on the s23 series let me try this again i want to change the font size yeah it is not showing something related to the font here but here right on the s24 series it is showing me the font size options right here so that new option is not there on the s23 series here next we have got the ai search within the gallery application available on both the phones on both the s23 series and the s24 series as you can see if i tap on search we have got this all new option we will be able to uh, describe an image and the AI will show the search results depending on your description. So that's also available on both the phones. Next, we have got AI emoji creation on both the phones keyboards, both on S23 and S24 series. Uh, let me show you that. Let's go to the keyboard here. When I tap on the emoji icon, you can see this brand new AI button right here. By tapping on which, you'll be able to describe an image and create an emoji and send it across to somebody so that's available on both the phones now let's talk about a couple of missing features now log video format is not available on the galaxy s23 series it's only available for the galaxy s24 series if i open the camera application and go to settings let me show you that here we have got video we've got advanced video options here i'll tap on advanced video, video options here as well and we've got log format recording right here on the s24 series and log format is not available on the s23 series so that's a missing feature on the s23 series and on both the phones now brief feature is still missing and it is highly unlikely for the s23 series to get now brief but s24 series may get now brief in the future as per samsung it depends on the chipset's capabilities so right now the uh, snapdragon 8e lite is capable of this feature if what they're saying is true so the predecessors like the s24 series and the s23 series may not be able to run this feature on the device and another important feature which is missing is the suggested replies that is also a very useful feature which is available on the uh, lab section let me open the settings tap on labs tap on advanced features and tap on labs now here we do not see this feature it's only currently available on the s25 uh, series let me show you that let me go to the settings here on the s25 series and uh, tap on advanced features and tap on labs uh, you can see this is where it is suggested replies we get ai powered suggested replies to chat and text message you uh, you receive provided by samsung keyboard this is a brilliant feature very easy to chat uh, on whatsapp or wherever the ai is going to uh, instantly show us the replies a uh, smart suggested replies for a quick response this feature is going to be very useful and i think that is available on the google keyboard as well you can use it on google keyboard but on the samsung keyboard if you're using this feature is available only on the s25 series and not on the s23 series and the s24 series so that's also a missing feature 
Now these are some missing features. If you have anything more that you have noticed, do share it in the comment section below. Now there's one more important question which a lot of you guys have been asking me that the sports from Google is not working on the Galaxy S23 series and S24 series. Now this could be an issue on some of the devices. Maybe Samsung will push an update for this and make it work in the future. So a fix may be coming. But uh, before that, what you need to do is you need to make sure you go to the settings tap on now bar settings or the lock screen AOD and then tap on now bar and tap on sports from Google and here make sure you tap on sports from Google settings and start following your teams. Uh, you get this option here. What you need to do is you have to start following a specific team or a specific sports. Only after that you'll be able to see the live scores if there is a live match happening. So that is something you need to do. On this page select the sports, select the team that you're following and tap on finish and that is when you will be able to see the live scores and uh, despite this if you are not seeing the live scores then there could be an issue and the fix might be coming very soon uh, from Samsung so wait for that. Now these are a few things which I want to share with you guys in this video. If you want to share anything drop a comment, any missing features that you have noticed, anything that you want to talk about the One UI 7 on the S24, S25, S23, drop a comment and let me know. Let's discuss there and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative and yeah the wallpaper application Wallverse the link is in the description. Do not forget to download it there are some beautiful wallpapers recently added on the application both free and premium versions are available. Check it out and do give it a five star rating on the uh, Google Play Store if you like it. That encourages me to keep adding more and more wallpapers. That's it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.